So today I have Lainey with me and she's going to help me press some flowers. And pressing flowers is one of my favorite things to do. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's kind of old fashioned and it's really easy. You don't need one of those fancy flower presses. All you need are some sheets of regular uh, printer paper, two heavy objects, and these can be boxes, this could be a phone book, these could be magazines, and then of course you'll need some flowers. So today I'm pressing orchids and Lainey's going to help me because of course you know how she loves being outdoors and I really enjoy that part of her story too. So I'll get started. So I'm going to take this beautiful orchid right here and I'm going to press its flower. And it's so simple, so easy to do. All you have to do is just snip off the flower. And I do that right at the base of the spike. So you have this little thing right here. This is a beautiful flower. You see how it's got this protruding thing. You just need to trim off the stem all the way up right against the flower. And then the next thing you need to do is cut off this kind of bulky frontal lobe right here. You want to make sure that the flower is going to be able to lay flat pretty easily and it's not going to um, incur too much bulk, otherwise it just won't press very well. So I'm just going to snip this off and we have a flower all ready for pressing. And this is such a good way to preserve flowers and with orchids, um, a lot of the plant's energy is spent creating the flowers, so as soon as you cut them off, uh, all the energy that was going to this flower will now go back to the leaves and if you watch the orchid carefully you'll notice a change. It'll look rejuvenated, it'll look healthier. And then the next thing you want to do is just cut off the spike right above one of these nodes. And you're all set to go. Now why do you cut it above one of the nodes? Because uh, a new spike can form out of one of the nodes if you're lucky. So I just try and make sure and always cut above one of the little nodes. And then to press the flowers, all you do is take a piece of paper, lay it on a flat object, and I like to make sure and lay a flower. I'll move this right here. I like to make sure and place the flower face down on the piece of paper. So that way it'll be flattened out and you can be sure that you won't get any folds in the flower accidentally. So you just take that and I'm actually going to get another flower ready because with all this area of paper, you can press a lot of flowers. And so many flowers really do press beautifully. So I'll just, oh, one good tip. You really need to, before you move from plant to plant with tools, you have to disinfect. And right here in this bowl is a little rubbing alcohol, a little piece of cotton. Just rub a little bit, disinfect. If you don't have rubbing alcohol, you can do the same thing just with a lighter. Just hold the blade right over the lighter's flame and that will disinfect it. It's really important to disinfect because you don't want to accidentally move disease to plant, from plant to plant um, as you snip your flowers. It is awful. It doesn't sound like it can happen, but trust me, I've heard horror stories. So just take this extra precaution and you'll never have a problem. So just take this right here, snip off right at the base, and then I'm just going to cut it right here. And it's ready to go. Don't forget to remove this bulky part. Now this right here, this little piece of the flower is kind of bulky and I'm afraid that when I press it, it might break. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove it. And it doesn't make too big of a difference. The flower will still be beautiful when it's pressed and you can see it's going to lay flat a lot easier now. And you can do the same thing to beautiful African violets. Take some flowers and make sure that the flowers are healthy. They're still beautiful. They're not dying. Let's go ahead and oh, don't forget to disinfect. You can see it's kind of a hard habit to get into, but it's a good habit to get into. It really is a great precaution. Let's just go ahead and cut off the stem. And with flowers that have pollen in them, you want to make sure and take off those stamens don't want that pollen to be staining your beautiful pressed flower. So just take that off. We're good there. And you can even press much larger flowers like this beautiful brassia orchid. I pressed a bunch of these flowers already. So I'll be able to show you what those look like. So you just same idea. Just cut off right at the base of the spike. And we'll just cut off this stem. 
can't cut off any bulk. And you are all ready to press for beautiful flowers. And you can press so many other things. You can press sunflowers, you can press hydrangea. So many other flowers can be pressed and they're a really good stick to have for card making and craft making. So anyways, all you do is take another piece of paper and just lay it right over. And this is a very heavy box. It has all of my glitter in it. It's one of my favorite boxes, but it weighs about 10 or 15 pounds. So you just take this and put it right on top. Just kind of drop it. And right here, I'll move these over. And you just leave that. Oh, check it in about a week and you should have some very beautiful results. So here's some flowers that I already pressed. I'm just going to move this out of the way. And you can see how beautiful they really are. Look at this. Beautiful Brassia orchids flowers. These flowers, let me just peel that off, came right from this beautiful orchid over here. And they change color. They're beautiful, papery, lovely objects. And then this one right here, careful when you peel these off. They're delicate. They're very papery, very fragile. You don't want to accidentally break it. But look at this beautiful orchid flower. Preserved wonderfully. And wouldn't this be so beautiful on a card? Maybe a Mother's Day card? That's what I'll be using these flowers for is my Mother's Day card. So if you do this in a few weeks, you will be all ready for Mother's Day cards. And I'll show you how I'm making mine. So anyways, pressed flowers, so easy. This is how I do it. I hope you try.